Good morning, folks. We've got a bit of activity on our star, a follow-up to last night's video, and of course some top science news as well. You're watching ionized helium in 304 angstroms and can hopefully notice the ejections on the southern incoming limb. Those sunspots and active filaments are coming in behind the coronal hole on the south, which trails behind the large sunspots on the north, which are still silent. They begin their departure today as the next solar features turn in. We're going to rerun the storm alert in case you missed it yesterday. The convergence line will be twice as powerful tonight as it was last night, with severe weather threats along a thousand miles running from Texas up into Canada. Eyes on that one tonight. Quick note here, last night we previewed the air tanks that will start the engine if an EMP or induction or cosmic ray surge takes out the batteries. This is a huge step towards hardening the vehicle. We are very excited and I am equally excited to clap back at folks who woke up on the wrong side of the current sheet yesterday. Why didn't we build an EMP-proof motorcycle? Because we have families, and people are stocking bullets, and bulletproofing isn't very hard. What's our plan for the fuel? Ask people who've never seen one of the episodes or don't know why a diesel is so versatile. And my favorite one, what's the point of having such a vehicle if the world is gone? Uh, not for cruising with the top down. Even one successful car start can be the difference between you living and dying one day in a catastrophic situation. For most of you, thank you for your support and for the rest of you. I bought stock in Haterade years ago knowing what the last decade would bring, so keep pumping that share price and chugging away. Okay, no reason to take the gloves off just yet. Not swinging at these authors, but standing beside them, swinging at space physics. The electric current effect of cosmic rays is something Alfain wanted to include when he recognized frozen in field lines were nonsensical in space. And here, we have the world recognizing this underappreciated force in the cosmos, one that helps us explain the forces once blamed on dark matter. And speaking of such problems, what an amazing paper here. He hits cosmology, space weather, plasma physics, and indirectly even a bit of climate change through the side door. The dogma and rigid nature of modern scientific paradigms is plastered up and observers will recognize many of his problems as our own. A bit of providence here as a paper comes out with questions about day side versus night side solar storm impacts flooding the comments and our email. No, the side of earth you are on does not matter. Particle penetration, induction, sudden storm commencement, ground level enhancements, ULF activity, none occur together and in terms of the solar storm aspect to the magnetic field. Night side areas often take more of a whack than the day side. One does not simply hide from the sun. Last but not least, we've got two new papers on the interplanetary magnetic field BY, the solar wind magnetic field and magnetic reversals. And if there is a bigger solar forcing topic in the journals these days, it's not in any journal I'm reading. The field is utterly woken up to the power of the IMF and solar wind magnetic reversal. And every one of these studies is not just something that affects the climate that was left out of models before, but scaled up. It tells us about the galactic current sheet and interstellar magnetic reversal effects on the sun. The coronal magnetic field, the helium chemistry and dust changes are already telling us it has begun, as it has on the other planets. And after years of them saying such a thing doesn't exist came to a crashing halt three days ago, I don't mind telling you the result of this galactic reversal impact to the sun is a solar micronova that ends this age of Earth and begins the new one. We greatly appreciate your support. Below the video you can learn more about this by clicking the Earth Disaster Documentary video link or in our books at otf.cells.com. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.